had a sensational chance uh, a little earlier on. Have a look at that incident and again from Cade Simpson. I reckon he tried to pull out of it as well. Yeah, he just pulled out the last moment and no damage done. But you just don't know these days, do you? What's going to happen? A worry for Brett Ratton is this young fellow with the footy, Morton. He's just too good in the air for Chris Johnson at this stage. For his second. And they've just made the move, Wolsey. Johnson's come off and Heath Scotland's come onto the ground, so they'll reshuffle down there. Yeah, it seems like it's pretty windy down there, Andy. It is a bit blowy, Wolsey. There's definitely a factor down here, the breeze, and it's uh, not favouring either end, just swirling around all over the place, as it does down here on the G. So after Carlton made the good start, Richmond settling now. That is a dumb kick in. You do not kick the ball in the area of Matthew Richardson, who bombs it in the Schultz direction. Good spoil, Thornton. Schultz fights on. Morton should kick his second. He does, and he puts the Tigers in front. He's the danger man. Spot on, Wolsey. We were sitting here in front of it, and he was going to mark that every day of the week. He couldn't have set it up any better for him if he was trying. And look what happens. You get a one-on-one -on -one opportunity with your man and Schultz. He was able to get a fist on it, but that is just uh, really, really not intelligent footy. Mitch Morton looks sharp. Been involved early, kicked another good goal. Richmond 2-4, Carlton 2-1. First match of season 2009. Down went Jacobs. Good kick by Murphy, he's lucky. As Russell puts it deep into attack. McGuan spilt the mark. It's time to recover. Ball falls in the arms of Betts who snaps a goal and kicks it. Well, another miss mark. The quarters, I reckon that's a bit of perceived pressure. We're watching Daniel Jackson and Chris Judd come off now. That's a set tag, obviously, for the game. I reckon Fev's creating some perceived pressure down there because Luke McGuan really should have swallowed that. Fev's up his, uh, his backside. He was thinking about that. And the tackle Fev laid before has put some doubt into the Richmond defenders. Great stuff from him. And Eddie Betts, the beneficiary. Judd coming off, being tagged by Daniel Jackson. The two young ruckmen are out there, Sam Jacobs and Andrew Brown, both playing their first games. And he's back. Who would have thought that, Tim, that you'd have two guys debuting in the run? It's such, uh, such a big occasion. Well, there's another error. Richard Hadley to derive the benefit of a 50-metre penalty to bring him within range and line up for Carlton's fourth. Brent, mate, you, you went at him. You went at him. You should have gone straight out. Well, there's umpire out, Donlan's explanation. And the former Brisbane Premiership player, black armband for the late Ray Garby, 1947 Premiership player who died 10 days ago. Hadley calmly slots the goal. The Blues stretch the lead. And Richard Hadley would be pretty happy about that because uh, he turned one over to Ben Cousins a few minutes back that uh, cost the Blues a goal. And he's been able to pay back pretty quickly. So uh, well done to Hadley. Just had a, a wretched run with knee injuries uh, in his time with the Brisbane Lions. A couple of knee reconstructions and uh, in his second year now with the Blues. At this centre bounce, you can see Jared Waite, bottom of picture, and oh, Richo oh, about 10 oh, metres oh, from him. Oh, tucked it well to Foley. McMahon, again, the Tigers a bit suspect with their skills oh, the under ball. pressure. Got a free kick here, though. He's going to Foley. 50 metres, Ryan, roll ahead across the mark. So you can hear the umpire saying there, Ryan Hallerman just, Hallerhan just creeping across the mark. One thing I've noticed with Richmond, a bit of a change from last year, is they're really trying to play on a bit quicker across half back. You can see Nathan Brown wants it again, which is a good thing for them. They need to do it more often. Carlton have got plenty of numbers back in their defensive 50, so short one to Brown. He pops it. That's a clever kick. That's a great kick. And this is the sort of distance you want Matthew Richardson to kick from. Because why he is such an asset, Nathan Brown, if they can keep him fit. Nathan Foley wanted to give the footy to him. You give the footy to your good kicks. There is a heap of numbers back inside 50. That's his wrong foot, and he's got so much poise. Never in doubt. Nathan Brown describing Richo as the Benjamin Button of football. He's ageing in reverse. Turned 34 a week ago today. Nine. 
Hit more marks than anyone in the league last year. He's taken three already tonight. Here go the Blues. Houlihan will have a couple coming at him. Yours. Gibbs there to receive. Goes for Cloak. Difficult position. Bad bounce. Throw in. Not a bad result for the Blues. Some interesting defensive matchups for Richmond. We've got Kelvin Moore going on Cameron Cloak. Luke McGuan's got the job on Fev. Last year, Will Thurstfield did that job really well, so I was a bit surprised that that was the matchup, but he started pretty well. Okay, Cruz of the third man floating over the top, but no result initially. Robinson great. getting in after that hard footy. There'll be a ball up. In, I'll have to have it. They say it, Carlton. Richard, yeah, Richo, Tim, you can see he just goes everywhere. Kick that last me. goal. Now he's down in the defensive 50 for the Tigers. So Robinson could do anything on a night like this on debut. He's already covered in blood and has one goal. Here's Houlihan. Just not quite cleanly to Simpson. Simpson, though, a natural left footer. But puts it out on the foot. Tigers ball. Carlton by three points. Half the opening term gone. Hold on, Jeff. Mark taken by Brown. Seen any rolling zones yet, Luke? I reckon Carlton might have uh, half a one out there at the moment. They've got their players all spread out. Not the full flood, which has been good anyway, Rob. Not the best option from Brown. And Cruiser takes the mark. Dishes off to Scotland. Now finally coming out. A bit of class is Hallahan. They did that well. Now the ball goes inside 50 and here's young Gartlett. Jeff Garlett has got a chance here for a goal. And this is his first kick in league football. So here we go joining the not-so-exclusive club these days. Brilliant story this, isn't it? Uh, young Garland, he looks like he's about 45 kilos. Look how skinny he is. And the energy that he brings to the, to the team is amazing, apparently. And the cousin of Buddy Franklin slots the goal. It's a beautiful start for Jeffrey Garland, a young man whose life circumstances left him so vulnerable that anything could have happened, but some good people in Perth and football have come to his rescue and in front of this massive crowd with his first kick. He's kicked a goal and the Blues lead by nine points. On, guys. And Thank Tim, you. they say that not only is he uh, a bit of a will-o'-the-wisp around the goals, way. his defensive pressures up forward are outstanding. Simmons and Cruz are jostle. Simmons the better of it or Richo making some high contact. Make contact with the arm. With Wiggins the arm. ball for Carlton. Richo storming back into defence. Judd, just his second disposal. Garland in front, got the hands onto it, was fearless as he went. Edwards now for Richmond. And the Tigers, Robinson laying the tackle, relishing the tuck going. Hey, that was a good effort by Garland, Rob, to get in front of that pack, wasn't it? He did well, he's brave, there's no doubt about that. A good sign for the Blues, they've got five goals on the board and Feb hasn't got any. Cloak a clean swat, but Brown the takeaway for Richmond. Bowden playing up forward. Jamison wearing him like the proverbial, and Thornton comes away with it to Scotland. And Bauer got himself into trouble. Scotland to wait now as Carlton reset. Just placing it for Cruiser. Murphy to take the crumb. Swing it long, and Favola in good position gets it free. He got himself in the right spot, and he got the reward. This will be his uh, first possession. Brendan Favola, he's had two tackles prior to that, but his influence has been very good. Played a great tackle earlier on in the quarter. And then just the pursuit pressure, I reckon, he's brought to the, the contest. Here he is. Over the shoulder was played against McGuire. For his 100th goal in his last season and a quarter of football. Yeah. First touch of the night, and he hooks it horribly. He was lucky to score, and McGuan lets him know it was a shocker. And the Fev gives up 50, and he needs to just pull his horns in. McMahon, that's a poor kick. Turnover, and Favola's all by himself on the 50 yard oh. run it. He sped it before he had it, but he's got another opportunity from a long way out. He blazes away. <laughs> it just plops into the pocket. I tell you what, 90,000 oh, people are being entertained. Oh, Gala did well to keep the ball alive in almost Cyril Rioli fashion. To Wiggins, to Betts. Gala will have another crack here. They'll all look at each other. Now yeah. Favola goes for it. We'll have a throw in. <laughs> Well, there's a bit of everything, isn't there? And you've got Garlett and you've got Eddie Betts down there. I tell you what, if you're a defender, you're going to get tackled pretty quickly. 
Newman gets another 20 metres for his team. 